Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is Codations. Ladies and gentlemen, Cookie Run Kingdom has officially dropped these sneak peek notes for the upcoming update in game. Without further ado, let's dive right in. <music> Right in, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see here, we've got the June 14th update sneak peek patch notes here in the game. All right. So as always, this first big chunk or section here is going to be just them talking about how this is a sneak peek and things obviously are subject to change. Diving into the very first new thing we've got, that's going to be the Cookie Odyssey Chapter 2. As it says here, the next chapter is coming to the Cookie Odyssey, where you can participate in story events taking place in multiple locations. It says Cookie Odyssey's Chapter 2 will be unlocked once you finish Day 5 of Chapter 1. You will also need Odyssey Quills 2 to progress with the story, and then Odyssey Quills 2 can be obtained through the Odyssey missions. You may only complete 10 Odyssey missions per day. After fully completing the Chapter 2 storyline, your remaining Odyssey Quills 2 can be converted into crystals. What? Dude, converted into crystals. Normally, this stuff converts over to gold, but they're saying it's going to be converting over to crystals. This might be a really nice way to farm these out. Last but not least, we've got for this section, it's going to be in the Cookie Odyssey Chapter 2. There will be stories involving exciting battles as well. You do not need separate resources in order to play the battles. Ooh, very nice. So essentially, we're getting some additional game content with inside of this Chapter 2. You'll love to see it. Diving into the next part here, and that's going to be the brand new super epic cookie oyster if you guys don't know they officially confirmed that this is in fact going to be the second super epic that we have in the game alongside clotted cream it says with her noble allure and eloquent words that can steer the conversation the way that she wishes she can't help but be in awe of oyster cookies presence some cookies wonder how a cookie of the sea could achieve such fame and prestige among the republic's creme de la creme but the ambitious come knocking at mayor oyster's door because some offers are worth risking it all. Ooh, very nice. We find out a little bit more information that she's actually a mayor, it sounds, of the Creme Republic. So very cool. Next up, we've got this going to be new decorations, as always, with these updates. This time, it's going to be a new decoration theme, the Republic Azure Streets and Clotted Cream Cookies Waterfall of Contemplation. Next up, we've got that's going to be some new costumes. It says we'll be introducing seven new costumes that will change the appearance of the cookies. Find out what cookies like to do on their days off. The very first one is going to be pure vanilla cookies, soft blue jeans. We've got the red velvet cookie cake stylist. Ooh, my favorite cookie, red velvet, my friend, coming in clutch with a new costume. I'm excited for this one. Next up, we've got, that's going to be espresso cookie getting a classy ceremonial suit. We've got Madeline cookie here coming in with an elegant night vestments. We've got blackberry cookie with a classic black. We've got Werewolf Cookie coming in with a Hype Beast within. We've got a common one for Beat Cookies Casual Hunter. We will also be introducing two new cookie house designs. The Azure, was it Capola Choco House? And then the Capola Choco Mansion. And then last but not least here we've got, that's going to be a brand new bond for us to collect. And that's going to be a bond consisting of, it says, one fine day off. It says pure vanilla cookie, espresso, red velvet, cotton, and then also parfait. Now, naturally, guys, that's going to wrap up the patch notes that we've got currently. Keep in mind, this is just a sneak peek. This does not cover everything in the current update. However, when the update does officially drop, make sure you have liked, commented, and subscribed here on the channel for everything Cookie Run Kingdom related, as I will also be going live when it does officially drop. With that being said, though, guys, as always, I'll see you on the next one.